Well, that is a ring. All right, it's another day, <clears throat> another beach. Rained all morning. I don't think we really have much in the way of uh, sand movement. Sand's been really, really full. Conditions have been absolutely horrible as of late. But I did get a gold ring the other day and uh, now I have my lucky green snake skin that Jim gave me. So. Hopefully that'll promote good finds today. But again, conditions not looking great. Was kind of hoping we might get a little bit of a, you know, wind um, and wave activity, but it's just not, it's not really moving sand around. So we'll see what we get. That was the first time I've done this in a long time, but the beach didn't look too good the last couple of days. It looks horrible, horrible uh, today. There's just so much sand. So I'm actually gonna go and uh, get back to my car and find another beach, because it looks that bad. All right, back at uh, one of my favorite beaches. We got animal, uh, animal services here. I don't know what they got going on down there. Who knows? Bet it's got to do with the animals. All right, crazy amounts of sand on the beach. So pretty as heck. Well, this just may not be my day. So you can see where somebody's been down here. I don't know, might be Robert, but it may, may not be. Somebody was down here digging. They did dig a target right here, but you can see where they've completely scoured the beach. Um, I don't see anybody down here anymore, so I must have just missed them. Doesn't mean there's nothing here, it just means that it's been pretty well scoured, so uh, there's a good chance there won't be much, but you never know. See a couple other holes they dug over here, so they definitely didn't fill in anything. Well, there's a little something right here, I think it's iron. Tiny piece of iron, I think. Maybe a bobby pin? Yep, bobby pin. Well, they missed a bobby pin. <laughs> Something right here sounds horrible, but we're digging anything we can find. I think this actually might be a coin and it literally is in the line of a uh, their search grid Yeah, probably not a coin 47s All right now it's gone uh, I think it's gonna be iron Yeah, I can see a little piece of maybe lobster trap or something. I will tell you, I think it's funny, and people do it behind me when you find stuff right where somebody's been. And I, you know, I've had Jim find gold rings right behind me and Brad find gold rings behind me. So not unique to anybody. Well, I see treasure. That's right. I see Mexican treasure. There you go. Well, whoever was here before me missed that. <laughs> Maybe a high tone right here. 98, which is really high, usually iron. It's funny, this sand doesn't look black like a lot of places, but it actually is heavily ironized. 
and so um, or mineralized with iron so you do get a lot of your signals sound horrible and then they actually turn into something I think this is gonna be a zinc penny loud as heck now in fact I'll let you guys listen to it what is that oh it's a pin and it's uh no it's one of the chipmunks um chip and dale i think they are and it looks like he's maybe snowboarding or something yeah i think he's snowboarding Right, it's a negative 18 again out here I really don't even bother paying attention to VDIs and really oftentimes even the you know what the signal is um, from a standpoint of tones because it's so often wrong out here okay do you think we have like a nail or something I can see a little rust well, Where'd you go? See if I can get it on my magnet. Yep. Oh, ha, that's funny. It's actually a junk ring. And I mean really junky ring. Stuck to my magnet. But you can see what's left of it. That's yeah, funny. tell 42 to 89 ah! that's a big discrepancy now it sounded like all iron negative 10 hmm should be out now it's a really nice 45 I'm thinking pull tab. There you go. Sounded amazing. I got a high tone right here. Sounds like a high tone anyway. 96. Sounds like iron. Now it's back to a high tone. Eh. That should be in the scoop. I heard something else over there too. Oh. What the hell is that? Oh, hi. Is that a pull for a drawer maybe? Huh. That is really odd, whatever the heck that is. Very good. No idea. Looks like I might have broken it off a little bit, whatever it was interesting anybody knows what the heck that is it might be worth cleaning up just to see if there's any thing on it it's interesting that is for sure very interesting looking maybe another ufo i don't know all right now that exact same hole perfect uh nickel tone 28 
Oh, I think I see a pull tab. Yeah, I do. <laughs> there you go. All right, another day, another beach. Had a pretty good sized storm come through the last couple of days. I looked at this about an hour ago. There is a little bit of a cut, not a whole lot, but uh, at least a little something to look at, maybe get lucky, find some movement. It's uh, kind of cold, not really cold, but it's definitely more wintry than it has been. Rained a little bit last night too. And uh, most of the sand was pushed around by tractors. So it's probably not, you know, old sand, but we might get lucky. Well, so far I've not had a single target, but uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little scenic view. I do have, uh, oh, I think that's my buddy Vern maybe. I'm pretty sure that is. All right, I have my second target. First one was a piece of uh, iron. This one actually has a mid-tone to it in the 30s. Kind of suspect. Now it's a 29. Boy, it might be a nickel. You never know. Definitely got a lot of iron to it as well, so it might not be any of those things. That's a negative 18 on the old VDI. Still down here. Boy, deep. I think it's out. Yeah, I think it's going to be iron. Sort of fishing probably a hook at one point in time there's a little bit of fishing line attached to it still yeah i'm pretty certain this is going to be iron but it actually is starting to get a little bit of a chirp to it so it might actually be a zinc penny we don't know i almost didn't uh, film it it may still not be worth filming my buddy Vern has already uh, worked this area, so there's a good chance there won't be much, but well, I think it's part of a fishing lure. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, so I think that might be a bobby pin, or what's left of a bobby pin. Oh, something right here. I won't turn you guys off. It's a 92 on the VDI, which probably some deep iron, probably. Oh, I see rust. I see the rust. Oh, uh, what is that? Is that a junk ring, maybe? What the hell is that? Yeah, I think that was a junk ring at one point in time, or an earring, maybe. Yeah, I think that was uh, probably an earring. I think the rust is actually the, uh, probably the actual post was probably iron and this is probably some other kind of cheap metal. All right, we got a little jewelry though. We'll uh, put that in a container and call that a win. Better than a kick in the head as they say. On to the next target. All right, it uh, actually sounds like a legitimate high tone. Saying 99, 
on the VDI, which is really high, but it did have one in the 80s. When I first hit it, I really kind of think it's going to be a coin. Still a 99, but it just doesn't have the grunt of deep iron. I'm going to say dime. 79 to 82. I see something green right there and yep that's a dime really green dime All right, I've got to just slam in midtone 43 probably a zinc penny of some sort but <laughs> this thing sounds amazing I mean uh, amazing it's just an exploding midtone 44. But I sure wish I was looking at something gold. I'm not seeing anything gold color, so. God, this thing sounds so good. Whatever it is. Uh, what is it? Is it a zinc penny? Um, I don't know. It's actually a heart. Huh. Boy. I kind of think that actually might be a little silver heart. Yeah, I think so. Huh. There you go. Well, it's a little hard. I don't know if it's silver. It, it looks... Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'll test it, but I kind of am starting to think it's not silver. I thought it was kind of purpley, but the more I'm looking at it, I think it might be just junk metal. But when you get it in the sunshine, I'm trying to do more of that. Sorry, guys. There it is. Silver, not silver. Heart. There it is, guys. It's a heart. And that means the beach loves me. Fish hook, fish hook. Here we go. All right, right here, I have a high tone, 89 uh, on the VDI. You know what? See if you guys, I don't think you'll be able to hear it because of the ocean, but. Now it's between 79 and 85, so maybe a quarter, maybe a dime. <clears throat> okay, out. I think it's going to be a quarter. This is 86 to 88. Really loud. Yep, I see it right there. It is a quarter. State quarter of some sort. <clears throat> now a lot of times when I'm in the wet, you guys will notice I don't fill my holes because the ocean does it. But when I'm up here, the tide's going out as well. So people are jogging through here. I have to make sure the holes are filled so nobody falls in them. <laughs> Another bobby pin it is another bobby pin <laughs> all right it's by far so far the best signal i've had it's an 11 10 11 and uh, a lot of my small gold rings are in that 10 11 area so fingers crossed Now it's a nine. I'm not seeing anything gold, so I'm inclined to think it's not going to be gold. Uh, you know what I think it is? <laughs> I think it's a piece of a silver chain. That is exactly what that is. That is a piece of silver chain. All right, I'm going to see if there's any more of it down that hole. There you go. That is silver. Put that in the... Uh, in the good finds area. All right, uh, there's more here. Uh, right 
right there. Oh, there it is. I definitely chopped it or it broke. So that's another section of it. Section number two. Let's see what else we can find down that hole. Maybe there's some more. Yeah, I think so. There's more down in here. I did just commit murder. I uh, unfortunately chopped up a uh, sand crab. Oh, I think I see it. I think it's a pretty good chunk of it this time. Yeah, I think so. I think we got multiple, multiple pieces of it. Look at that. That's a whole lot more of it. Um, and we'll keep going and seeing if there's more down in there. There you go. Pretty decent amount of silver chain right there. Maybe, maybe, might just be the water reacting to my scoop. Yeah, I think, uh... Nope, more over here. Yep. More in the scoop right here. Oh yeah, right there. Let's see it. Another pretty good little section of it. There you go. Alright. Got a pretty decent long silver chain and multiple pieces. Look at that. A lot of a lot of chunks of silver chain. Oh, you can see the clasp right there too. Alright. Well, oh, we got a big wave. Kind of out of nowhere. Yep, I think that's it. All right. Well, that was kind of nice. So I was just talking to my mother-in-law, and in California, you have to pay five cents for your uh, bags when you go to the grocery store, or you bring recycled bags. And I was telling her, you know, when I surf, sometimes you just see a lot of these bags floating around, especially after a storm or after a big wind event. There's a there's a chain link fence uh, over by one of the campgrounds and there's just hundreds of these bags stuck to it. And since they started this whole program, I find hardly any of them in the ocean anymore and I find hardly any of them on the fences. And I was dead set against the whole idea of charging for bags, but I just wish people could be responsible enough not to be charged for a bag, therefore not let it fly around in the, in the wind. You know, once it becomes five cents, all of a sudden there's some uh, value to it and they don't want to let it fly so if you are one of those people in one of those places where you don't have to pay for those bags just keep in mind they make perfect parachutes in the wind and they go in the water they go in lakes they go in rivers just just try to make sure you 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 know throw that stuff away because it's really really important from an environmental standpoint not to have those plastic bags out there and when i find them i still pick them up but i don't see them very often anymore on the beach and i used to see them all the time Oh, I see a lot of rust. Yeah, I think I see. I think what it is is a nail or a screw. Yeah, a lot of times screws will get real weird. I think that's what that was, a screw. Yeah, I think I have my first zinc penny. 62. It sounded like iron at the bottom of the hole. And I think that means I have gotten a total of three coins, 35 cents total, a quarter, a dime, and a penny, which means I just need a nickel and I'd have the cycle. Sorry for those who hate cycle. <laughs> All right, I got a 28, <laughs> it sounded like a bottle cap. I kind of think it might still be a Modelo bottle cap, but if it's a nickel, oh, it is a nickel. <laughs> That means I just got the cycle and I got it in a total of four coins. So there you go. Four out of four.
I just got two pull tabs, didn't film them. It's an extreme high tone, 88 to 90. Kind of thinking quarter actually. Yeah, 89, it's really acting like a quarter. Call it spendable quarter, that's what I think this is gonna be. Oh, I think I see it. Eh, maybe not spendable. I mean, spendable, but I have to clean it. And as a uh, Monterey Magnet Man says, it's an Eagle back, 1990. All right. <clears throat> All right, back on the beach. It's a really high tide. There's pretty huge swell. It's, it's gonna be giant tomorrow. Um, I was just down here a minute ago and there were dolphins jumping out of the back of the waves. Tried to get it on my cell phone, so probably won't be able to see it, but I'll look at it. If I did, I'll put it on here. But yeah, um, had a lot of sand being pushed in the last couple of days by the uh, surf, so it doesn't look, you know, it's not like a real cut or anything, but you never know. Maybe uh, some targets got pushed up with that sand, so I'm gonna go give it a shot. But hopefully the next couple of days are gonna be really good. Like I said, pretty extreme tides and pretty extreme surf. So uh, a little bit of wind would probably sweeten the pot. We have no wind whatsoever right now. Surf conditions are amazing. All right, wish me luck. I think I found a junk iron ring. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Yeah, I think I can kind of see some plating coming through on it. Absolute trash, but it's a tiny ring. I was digging a piece of iron out of that huge hole right there. I honestly think it's actually a zinc penny. <laughs> yep, you can see a jacked up zinc penny right there. It's more like sand than penny. I did not get it. Nope, still. Still down there. That right, should be in the scoop now. Yep, big penny. Maybe it's spendable even. There you go. All right, this one is not what I expected, but I had a huge sand crab and what I think is a quarter. The sand crab first. Get this guy out. Woo! All right, bye guy. And he'll dig his way back in and he's gone. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's a jacked up old quarter. Well, I just dug forever in really, really serious uh, ways to uh, get this out. It's a piece of what Daniel refers to as infrastructure. It's concrete with some, you know, uh, rebar or some sort of metal in it. And uh, it was had given off a nice high tone. And uh, I dug, and I dug, and I dug, and that's what I got. So, fortunately, I don't have room in my pouch for it, so way up on the beach it goes what is that <laughs> that is a tiny heart <laughs> made out of uh, eh, and it has a jewel in it that's fallen out um, it's made out of copper so I'm pretty certain that's going to be bling but it is jewelry I see a little piece of copper in there. Is that what that is? Yep. Electrical connection. Well, that is a ring. Oh, it's a... 
forget what that stands for. I want to say it's uh, Latter-day Saints. I think it's I think it's Mormon. Um, you know, it looks like it's just copper, but it is inlaid, and it does have uh, H L J, and I think that's uh, the Latter-day Saints. It's adjustable, so it's not. It's probably a kid's ring. There you go. I think I see something. Is it like a fish hook? Yeah, I think it's a fish hook. That's why. Those could sound really good. I think it's kind of a weird little one. I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe. I don't know what that is. It's metal. And it's round. <laughs> I think I have a junk ring. Or junk earring maybe? I don't know. I think it's a junk tow ring. Yep, that's what that is. Junk tow ring. I have a really good sounding mid-tone. Sounded horrible, so I didn't even film it coming out of the hole. Uh, maybe it's aluminum. Is that what I'm seeing? Like a chunk of... Uh, oh, actually, maybe a zinc penny? Yeah, I think this used to be a zinc... Well, yeah, I think at one point in time that might have been a zinc penny or something along those lines. I can see the zinc sticking out of the side of it, so... It sounded really good once it got out of the hole, though. Well, it's part of another junk ring. So I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Junk, junk, junk. I have a whisper, and I mean a whisper of a low tone. I see something down there. It would be crazy if this was actually gold. I think I might see a gold earring. Boy. Uh, I think it's going to be junk. I don't know. Oh no. It looks, uh... Boy, just... Something about it right now, honestly, is giving me a little bit of a gold vibe, especially because it's so unbelievably low. I'm kind of wondering right now. Maybe, maybe. It's something else that kind of looks a little suspicious. Oh, that's wild. I think that's a silver earring. Alright, that's wild. I think that's a silver earring of a very similar look about it. <laughs> that's weird and my detector's about to die but yeah I'm pretty sure it's a silver earring with uh, yeah a little, uh, little bit of stones in it I think they're gonna obviously be not real stones but it looks just similar to that earring I just found so there you go all right guys here's wrap up number one there is nothing there because we left the beach all right, here's wrap up number two. Pretty bleak. Got a, a cap for like a propane tank. It was, you know, a little small, little propane uh, used for a little stove. This is a bottle cap. I got one bobby pin, a couple pieces of iron. I got uh, one and three quarter uh, pull tabs. I did get this little junk, uh, what I'm sure was probably a kid's, you know, steel ring at one point point in time and it's now just turned into a little piece of rusty metal um i did get this and it's kind of cool and i'm pretty certain this is an antique ufo um and i just want the laylians to come out that hole come on guys come on out out um i did get chip or dale i'm not sure which one's which um but yeah there you go you got a little snowboarding action going there and then uh, i did get this mexican coin so not much out there, but uh, I did get a couple things. So there you go. All right, guys, here's wrap up number three. I did get uh, a lot of iron. I got some, a uh, couple of 10 stakes. I got a couple of other pieces of random iron. I did get, I think, five bobby pins, one paper clip, and uh, three fish hooks. So lots of iron. Um, we'll talk about some of the trash. I did get, uh, you know, bottle cap and a little bit of floating garbage. Got this little piece of a fishing lure. Um, 
I did get uh, this little thing. I don't know what it is, but you can see some zinc still on it. So, or copper, you know, plating. I don't know what the heck it was at one point in time. And then I got this little flower. I don't know if I videoed this or not. Um, I also got this little heart, little silver heart, um, tarnished. Uh, I got this junk, uh, what I think is actually an earring. Um, and I got three quarters, one dime, one nickel, and three pennies, which means I did get the cycle in the first four coins uh, with a total uh, haul of eight coins. So um, again, three zinc pennies in that eight coins. And the only really good thing I got was this silver chain. And I got, I, I'm missing one of the pieces. I thought I had a total of five pieces, but uh, you can see the clasp is right here. It is actually Mark 925. Um, so it is a silver chain. I probably chopped it up with the scoop the first time, but uh, there you go. What's left of a silver chain? Or really now it's just four smaller silver chains. And that's wrap up number three. All right, here's wrap up number four. I got one quarter, two zinc pennies. I got this little metal disc. I did also get a total of three rings, two earrings, and a charm. We'll start with the junk first. We got uh, this, which uh, is just a copper toe ring, junk toe ring. Um, I got this, which is just a steel, you know, ring of some sort from God knows how long ago because it's in horrible condition. Uh, all right, I did find this ring, and uh, this is actually for the Church of Latter-day Saints, and... It turns out this is a Spanish, um, what normally they say CTR, which means choose the right. And this means, and I'm going to butcher this, I'm telling you right now. Anio has lo justo. Not even close, I'm sure. But anyway, it's the Spanish version of choose the right. It is a child's adjustable ring for the Church of Latter-day Saints. And I have found the CTR ones before, but never a Spanish one. So kind of cool on that note. And then also I found this little charm um, right here, a little, little heart charm, very small with a little bling in it. And then I got this. Oh, no, I got this first. And this, I tested, it does test 10K, but I kind of, I'm looking at it. I think it's plated. I think I'm just testing the plating. Um, it just doesn't look totally right to me now that it's been out. Um, but you can kind of see, it, it definitely has a very gold vibe. The number on it was correct, um, on the VDR. So, um, you know, I have a VDI, excuse me. Um, so maybe a gold earring, I'm not totally sure. And then I got this one, which is marked 925 and does have some little stones, none of which, uh, test as diamonds or real, but it is a you know, silver earring. So I guess I got silver and maybe gold. If you guys are interested in any of the stuff I use, I do use a CKG titanium sand scoop. Also, I use Tony Eisenhower waterproof headphones. I occasionally use my gold pull tab scoop. If you're interested in any of these products, go ahead and go into the description of this video. There are links to all of those places. Um, if you have any questions on how to find it, just let me know in the comments and I will get that for you. All right, a lot of people have asked me how to get a Pirate Mike t-shirt and for a long time I was trying to, you know, ship them from here and oftentimes I didn't order enough to have the right sizes for people and it was getting just cost prohibitive and the shipping was crazy expensive and um, so I did uh, get to a point where and also my printer said he couldn't make the small batches I was ordering. So, um, I did set it up where you can go directly on to our, um, I did set it up where you can directly link from all my videos to uh, Spring. And Spring uh, has all sorts of cool stuff, like check my coffee out. Pretty cool. Um, and you can get all the stuff on the Spring site. And uh, I will try to set up a link where you guys can uh, just go ahead and click at the end of the video. But if I don't have that up soon, just know that all the videos do have a link to the uh, shirts. If you have problems finding it, go ahead and put it in the comment and I'll uh, see if I can get you a direct link to it. Hey guys, Pirate Mike here. Just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. 
I have no idea why I do this, but every time I find a half dollar at the beach, I stick it in my eye. Again, I sure hope you like my channel and thank you again for watching and for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. love it if you guys would subscribe you can just click on my head right here or you can watch either of these two videos